Hi, this is Chris from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Speaker Johnson's craven submission to Donald Trump is appeasement. It's not just appeasement to Donald Trump, it's appeasement to the axis of evil between the Ayatollah in Iran and the Kremlin and the Chinese Communist Party. By the way, so here we go into probably another Republican-led shutdown. Oh, I heard it was got a little Lord of the Flies in that meeting for a little tiny, teeny tiny Mike Johnson. Mm-hmm. Well, for, from what I understand, there are two shutdowns moving. Right. There's Friday and then Friday. next Friday. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Listen to me, break Put the candle <laughs> back before you speak. You want me to not participate today? Yes, I do want you to participate. <laughs> I'm just going to talk She's to you like this. She's being mean to you now. Yeah, you're being I'm mean. just going to talk to you like this the whole time. You're being mean. Put the candle back. Be nice to me. Okay. I'm sick. Be nice. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. I love you. Go ahead. <laughs> well, there are two shutdowns coming. Uh, Friday's shutdown yeah. only shuts down like four agencies. Yeah, or yeah. partial shutdown. And right. then the other one is the bigger is, one. Is next Friday, and that's the big yeah. one. So. I mean, here's the problem they were saying that even Mitch McConnell was beating up on mm-hmm. Mike Johnson. I mean, they see what a what a political loser this is for them. That the public sees what's happening. I saw Mike Johnson yesterday going, "It's this border, and we have to do that first. The border is a what did he call it yesterday? An emergency, a catastrophe." I'm like, "Oh, really? So the, you can explain again why you just? I think the public gets that they're the ones that Finally. just voted against the border security bill. It's right. It's like through. it's a catastrophe. It's an emergency that can wait." Till Donald Trump is president. Right, right. I mean, we see you, you shady mother... Oh. Anyway, but my point is they were saying, like, he knows that if he does put it on the floor, it'll pass. It will. And he'll probably lose his... He'll get vacated. Yeah. He'll lose his uh, speakership like a crusty old bowel. He'll get vacated. Because they didn't change the rule when right. he got... But this, here's the problem with with Speaker God Warrior, is Speaker Moses. If you think God made you speaker... He's not going to, like, there's, he feels like he can't do anything to lose the speakership because God made him speaker. I mean, that's. Point of order. I don't think he yes. can, uh, considers himself Moses because that's Old Testament. Oh. Yeah. No, but he did I mention that. <sighs> he old. mentioned being Moses in a speech. I'm surprised oh, yeah. because oh, yeah. he's old, that's Old Testament. And they oh, don't. a lot of cr- yeah. Christians quote the Old Testament versus the New Testament. Yes. Leviticus is their friend. Yeah, I'm told every time his wife uh, got her period, she'd be he'd be like, "I parted the Red Sea." Should I just go? Should yes. I see myself? Yeah, oh, you yeah. should see yourself. Where's the cane? Yeah, put on a vest. I need to buy a giant. Cane. Today, today's out of the gate will feature primarily <laughs> Jody and a masked Chris. Yeah, great. <laughs> As I depart the studio. What is out of the gate, Stephanie? Listen to me very carefully. What is out of the Oh, out of the gate is my opening rant every day. It's this, th- oh, the, oh, the emptying of the craw Where every day. And it? that's completely free Where can you and commercial it? free. I don't know. <laughs> StephanieMiller.com, perhaps, or your favorite no, podcast. wherever you get your podcast. Yeah, there yes. you go. But, but it's inside your Stephanie Miller happy hour feed. Even better. Why do I feel, I feel like this is... A- He's the gimp in the basement. I really do. I did not put the ball gag in Chris Lavoie in my basement. He did it to himself. Poor Chris. Poor Chris. Poor, Poor Chris. little feller. Aww. Okay. I feel like he's like searching for the safe word. Ms. Rahi. Ms. Rahi. It's always Ms. Rahi. Ms. Rahi. We know that. There you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> Someone's like, my safe word is stop. <laughs> okay. Where were we? Uh, well, it's, 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 oh, and also Happy Hour is the best interview of the day. Yes. Also completely uh, commercial free. free. You can find it. And free. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Free. Free. Okay. Well, you were saying commercial free. It, it, we have a couple commercials in it. Oh, pardon me. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's I'm free. thinking of the Steph cast, yes, which is commercial free. Right. The entire show available any, every day uh, for an unbelievably low price. You can listen anytime you want. Exactly. Okay. I should not do my own plugs because yeah. I don't really have any information really about any of this. No, Mm-mm. no. You're, you're All just right, a, you're just a figurehead. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I have JoJo from Jurors, who tweeted uh, the same Republicans telling folks uh, if and how they can get pregnant, forcing them to stay pregnant, barring them from getting divorced while pregnant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's happening in mm-hmm. one state. Yeah. And denying them uh, life-saving medical care because they're pregnant, uh, burn masks during the pandemic because it was, quote, government overreach. Thank you. Thank you for pointing out the giant. Okay. right-wing hypocrites. She tweeted how much fun she's had on the show, and I said, you were a big, giant ball of love and light and fun. And she is. We adore you. What did I say? I said, no matter what the result is, <laughs> again, it's going to be Biden. Can you have... 
Do you have the air raid siren ready? Biden bad. <laughs> Biden doomed. Democrats in disarray. Trump victorious. Dominant. <laughs> See? I was able to go to bed early and can complete my Mission Impossible. Mm-hmm. I've oh. watched all seven of them now. Okay. Thanks for asking. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Lots yeah. of running. He does run in all of them. He does. Well, he looks good running. He's very fast. Yes, he is. And he runs like... Yeah. Yeah. Very committed. <laughs> okay. So, speaking of uncommitted voters... <laughs> <laughs> nice. I know. I I didn't even have to watch the coverage. Okay. I, I was like, okay, so... Uh, Biden got 81% of the vote. He crushed his nearest uh, competitor, Marion Williamson, by 70... Williams, Eight points three. and Dean Phillips by 79 points. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, but we're in disarray. Yes. All right. The uh, Where am I? Do I have it in front of me? 13% was the... Um, uncommitted. Uncommitted uh-huh. vote, which... Uh, you know, again, it, Chris, I was saying yesterday that, you know, Jody and I are sick of the... What do we call it? The calm down paternalism. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that sometimes men have shown... Even our liberal allies have showed us about Roe v. Wade and uh-huh. IVF and whatever. So I don't want to... You know, you you talk about having, uh, you know, Palestinian friends. or uh-huh. it, it, that it, I don't want to do that to them like, oh, they're there. Calm down. You'll come around in November. Because right. I know that just pisses people off right. more. Well, and, you you know. know, because it's emotional because some have relatives there or whatever. Right. Right. I, because I think it's... Did you call them over-emotional, Stephanie? She will get no. accused of that. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been on Twitter where people <laughs> so they're not listening because we have Malcolm Nance on they don't like his opinion of the Middle East something something we're insensitive to genocide yeah, uh-huh. oh and you're a Hamas sympathizer right and clearly because you're wearing a mask absolutely. Absolutely. well yes yes Chris is a very uh, he's a very thoughtful boy he is because he has a cold he does not have COVID but he's wearing but feeling better today but wearing a mask uh-huh. to protect his co-worker. I don't have the constant faucet coming out of my nose. Yeah, that, that was gross. That, that was, was gross, gross yesterday. And wearing a mask. Oh, in- by the way, right. someone tweeted, uh, oh, I like when Chris is sick because Stephanie, Stephanie's nice to him. That's true. I'm always <laughs> nice to this <laughs> hole. I don't know. He's mean to me. Oh, my God. When we were trying on dresses, I remember Chris going, lace makes you look old. <laughs> oh, my God. You would not believe the amount of mean things he says to me when he's feeling well. Thank God he's not feeling well today. Was I right? <laughs> <laughs> Some people think I look lovely. In I lace. used to wear lace when I was in my twenties. Okay. Yeah. So what? It was a nineties thing or thirties. Yeah. How old am I? Twenties. I was. You in know, my once 20s. I pick something fashion-wise, I stick with it. You I do. stuck with those vests. At a girl through the whole nineties. Wow. 90s. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the whole seven, <laughs> 11 billion first, what you call it, iterations of sexy liberal. I stuck with that lace. Did you wear a vest and every... I pull it out of my cold, dead, bloody hands. Did you wear a vest every single night? Of yes. I don't know. We decided so that was my look. I, it was oh, ridiculous. I don't needed know. something else. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. I needed a Jody uh, Hamilton uh, in my life. You needed to point out that you were a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a, a bright arrow. Yes, I'm a, a lesbian, arrow. but I'm not out yet. <laughs> right. Gay, don't look. Gay, gay. gay. Uh, <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the fashion air raid yeah. siren. <laughs> you and Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> And Ricky Martin and Barry Manilow. Oh, dear. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh-huh. Ayala on Twitter says, the turnout for Biden was huge. The uncommitted push only succeeded in getting more Democrats out mm-hmm. to vote for Biden when most would have stayed home in a race that is already over. Um, you know, and a lot of people commenting on the media coverage, as I mentioned. Uh, Lindy Lee said, media, if you're going to report about the uncommitted vote in Michigan, report that uh 13% is uh, uncommitted historically normal we were talking we'd forgotten yeah. about the protest vote against obama. obama because of drones oh by the way that i need my apology music the stephanie miller show wishes to apologize we misspoke yesterday about 1968 uh, humphrey won the nomination right. it was the mccarthy voters that right. stayed home because he was considered the anti-war candidate and so they were anyway but i just was having talking to cliff schechter about oh, our conventions in chicago <laughs> i could just flashbacks to 1968 and you know what people are going to do in november to protest war but you know in this case as we keep saying jody this is not joe biden's war mm, he didn't I, start it and yes i am sensitive to genocide i feel awful about it i say it every day i don't but you know it, it, it's We'll talk, you know, Cliff Schechter, I thought, had some really thoughtful points about mm-hmm. this, and I didn't realize he had lost someone 
on October 7th, an Israeli relative. So, you know, there's a lot of emotion on all sides of this. But, you know, I was thinking about 9-11. If people had called on us to, to do a ceasefire in Afghanistan, you're killing too many civilians. And and they didn't even have hostages. They killed 3,000 3, Americans, but they didn't have hostages. Yeah. Like, I just don't know what we do about the fact that they're holding all these hostage, hostages. And it, so I hope the president's right. We, oh, do we have him? Yes. Did he have ice cream in hand? Ice cream in hand, yes. Which one? Talking about... Uh, uh, I hope, four. Yeah, four. four. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. I hope My this is true. My national security advisor tells me that we're close. We're close. It's not done yet. And my hope is by next Monday, we'll have a ceasefire. Wow. I hope That so would be too. amazing. It's up to Nick. Anyway, yeah. Lindy Lee said uh, 13% is historically normal. We were saying Obama got that one on, of course, to win Michigan and the presidency. Again, every year, this year, I think, is going to be different than every other year. You know, what is that thing they say on the... I'm going to get it wrong. Yeah, you are. Sue in Rockville, what is it where we say, why is this night different than all other nights? Hanukkah? I believe so. Anyway, <laughs> ask me how my Rosh Hashanah was. How was it? Show far, show good. Okay, that's I do that joke every year, but that's not the point, Chris. Is the it, point is, is Rosh, how is this year different than every other year? Because it, it just... Lent? Yeah. Didn't Lent just start? L- Lent just started. How is it no! Rosh Hashanah? It's the... That's a... <laughs> say it a... <laughs> Seder. Okay. Listen, my point is, this so year is so going good. to be different than every so other so year. Good. We have never been confronted with an election year like this. No. So anyway, Lindy says, uh, 13% uncommitted, historically normal. Report that Trump underperformed again. Report that attempts to stop Biden failed. Report that Biden continues to overperform. Stop carrying water for MAGA. Um, Matt Dowd said, if you're disappointed in the coverage of Michigan Democratic primaries, I am. Keep in mind, 11% of voters in the 2012 Dem primary voted uncommitted. Uh, Obama ended up winning Michigan in the fall by more than uh, 450,000 votes. Um, And Lindy just said the media industrial complex craves a horse race, so the Biden doom and gloom narrative will likely continue into the foreseeable future. That's what I figured is, you know, we might as well just strap in. Like us whining about it, which we do, which I exist to do. (laughs) <laughs> apparently he's not going to change it right they just they're they're it's like they're genetically incapable